Yuppie Hansen pretty much came out of the womb with dancing shoes on. Dancing is, is my life. Dancing is my passion. Uh, it's everything I've ever done. <laughs> so my, my entire identity is built on, on being a ballet dancer. Taking him far from the small town where he grew up in central Denmark to stages in Paris and New York. And this is me with the, with the Queen of Denmark. He danced in an exclusive troupe in Copenhagen, performing for Queen Margaret II at palace parties. The Queen, an accomplished designer, even made some of Hansen's costumes. This is from, from RWB, from Escape and Beauty. Last September, he joined the Royal Winnipeg Ballet, beating out many for a spot in its school. The RWB even gave him a scholarship. For me to come there um, was a big opportunity for me. But during the cold of his first Winnipeg winter, he started getting fed up with the ballet world. Being a ballet dancer is extremely restricted. Everyone else tells you constantly what to do, how to look, how, what, like, how much you weigh, um, how to perform basically, how to be the artist that you are. Just before his debut in Sleeping Beauty back in March, Hansen made another debut and that performance got a thumbs down from officials here at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. This is all we can show you of Hansen's online pornographic videos under his performance name, Jet Black. I wanted to, to express myself in a different way. And I wanted to express myself artistically in a different way than what I can do within the, the classical ballet form. Um, and I also wanted to explore myself and my sexuality. RWB officials brought the curtain down on his time in Winnipeg when they found out. What they told me thereafter was that they, they couldn't, they didn't have any space for me there because I did porn. Um, and asked me to sign a letter saying that I resigned um, from the professional division. In an email, the head of the Royal Winnipeg Ballet wrote, the RWB cannot comment on personal issues due to respect for everyone's privacy. Jeff Hurd also pointed out their code of conduct, but there's nothing in here that says students can't participate in outside projects. Dancers are required, however, to request authorization for outside performances, which is why Hansen says the RWB decision is unfair. It was really difficult to be told that and to be told, you know what, there's no space for you here. For now, he's in New York City pursuing porn full time. He admits his decision was a career-limiting one. Now he says he's on a blacklist of ballet bad boys, but he hopes one day he can put his dancing shoes back on professionally. I will take this break until I find a new place where I, I feel like I can fit in as a ballet dancer. And on a stage that accepts him for the artist he wants to be. Ryan Hicks, CBC. <laughs> well, basically, the story broke in... Uh, in Denmark uh, late last night, so so I've kind of been up all night um, trying to deal with that in Denmark. My parents woke up to it being on the news in Denmark, um, so that was a little bit difficult for them, I think, um, and just been trying to make a little bit of damage control in Denmark and hopefully, I mean, I'm not so interested in, in getting an out too much in Denmark for their sake, um, but you can't really tell tell any uh, newspapers that because then they will really think it's, it's, it's very interesting. Um, it's a big deal in Denmark. It's a very, very big deal in Denmark. So, um, yeah. So, that's how it is. Things are going well. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been busy the past 24 hours, but it's, it's going well. Um, yeah. Well, basically, the, the story has been, been breaking many places, and a lot of, uh, and a, a lot of different news, news outlets have been picking up the story. Um, so uh, I've been trying to deal with that as much as possible and, and, and talking to people that have been very interested in, in knowing further what has been going on or what I think and feel about the situation. Um, and, of course, also dealing with, with the media at home in Denmark. Um, of, of course, like Denmark is, is not so large a, co a country, um, and and the ballet in Denmark is very valuable to to people there. So, uh, so it's I think it's been a it's been an important story in Denmark, um, and, uh, and and clearly people have been picking up on it quite fast. Um, 
Well, it's like they basically woke up to the story. Um, what I did was I sent them an email last night, uh, very late before they woke up, telling them that they should be aware that this was this was coming out in maybe a, a larger format than than what I first expected. And uh, and then they woke up to this this story in, in various news uh, media's in Denmark afterwards. I think it's difficult for them to to quite understand the the, the, the severeness of it um, and. Uh, and I really hope that I, I don't hurt them too much by it. I think it's difficult for for any kind of family uh, or parents to see their child take a different uh, direction in what they thought initially they would do. Um, my parents are very proud of me and, and what I have uh, accomplished as a ballet dancer. Um, and they are not quite understanding of the choices I have made, but they love me and, and they support me as, as being me. Um, uh, with that said, I think it's also difficult, as Denmark is a very small country, um, to to not be affected by uh, by a, a story like this coming out. Well, it's been massive. Like what we have gotten of, of contact the past twenty four hours have been like incredible. Right? Um, honestly, I think what I wanted to do was to create a conversation about what is acceptable, where our sex, sexuality, visions and, and views are going and what you can do as an artist um, and within the parameters of being an artist with sexuality. Um, and I feel like we have definitely kick-started a conversation that maybe, especially in North America, haven't been quite mature enough yet to deal with, but here it is and, and it's something that people are ready now to deal with and very interested in, in keep, um, keep talking about. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, you know, this issue is not black or white. And, 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 and as I've said earlier, um, I never meant to, to hurt anyone uh, to buy this story. It's literally only to create um, an interesting conversation that I think is important right now, especially with, uh, with, with mainstream entertainment today, everything from, from uh, music videos to, to movies and commercials being so full of, of sexual material. Um, I think it's a, a very important conversation to have.